Titan tested by Mr. Kimura, refined to North America by Bonsai Mirai. Multi flush pine, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Sammy was curious if it's a good idea to heavily wire and bend branches on a pine after this shoot selection and needle plucking operation. So I think that you have the opportunity. After you do this work, you have the opportunity to reposition any of those orientation issues that we talked about. And you can uh, readjust the shape of, of the tree at this time of year as long as you can protect it. Okay. So if you choose to reduce and do shoot selection, um, and then you're going to go ahead and do major heavy styling in addition to, you're just increasing your commitment to protection during dormancy, right? The more work you do, probably the more protection that's going to need. Because we don't want to send a tree into the dormant period of the year uh, with a ton of fresh damage and a whole lot of um, potential issues that can atrophy over the dormant season. So if, if that's the case, when we say you need to protect it even further, you may need to keep your greenhouse or the protected area where you're going to keep these a little bit warmer to keep this tree metabolizing a little bit more to recover from any significant work that we do this late in the, in the fall, fall season. I'm almost there, guys. My team is like, hey, Ryan, let's, you know, kind of wrap it up. We've been here for 12 hours today. Time to, time to go. Mike has a question about grafting what you got, uh, Japanese black pine onto Ponderosa in SoCal, um, Southern California, sorry. Yep. Um, is it safe to bring an ungrafted Ponderosa down or would you need to graft it in a cooler climate first? Um, so you have approximately, right? And I say approximately because it, it, it also hinges on a lot of other factors. You have approximately three years, maybe four, where a ponderosa pine can exist and grow uh, in Southern California before it starts to exhaust its carbohydrate reserves and really starts to, to sputter and, and sort of peter out, right? So in all actuality, if you wanted to successfully graft black pine onto ponderosa pine, purchasing the ponderosa pine, once it's achieved a strength uh, from the collector in a cooler climate, taking it to Southern California and taking advantage of that ramping up in growth. So purchasing it, say, over the winter time, taking it to SoCal, grafting it when you get it there, and then letting that heat pro propel the growth. Um, I've had a number of students from Southern California take sugar pine and ponderosa pine back to California, graft them in the, in the spring, and absolutely have the graft rate success be exponentially higher than it is in a cooler portion um, of the country. We graft our pines in fall at Bonsai Mirai because we, we don't have the heat in the spring for spring grafts to really thrive. And, um, and that, that sort of perpetuation of vascular growth combined with putting them in a warmer environment to continue to grow is more successful than doing it in the spring and having them just stagnate over that cold, wet spring. Um, so yeah, you could graft it down there. You got three years. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna call it right there. Whew. Dramatic, dramatic shift in the aesthetic of the tree. Let me come here so I'm not like some blurry blob in the camera, okay? Dramatic shift in the aesthetic of the tree. You can see that once we get up through the apex, we're gonna be able to do a lot more of this work, thin it, balance it. We see so much more of the trunk. I'm very much attracted to that right-hand branch pulled in. We pushed out branch with the most length here. We talked about strength. We talked about shape of crotch being acute. We talked about orientation being lateral. We talked about driving our decisions based on the design we're trying to accomplish, not letting the action of, of shoot selection drive our design, but our design drive the action of shoot selection. We've seen where we have younger tissue that when it matures will back bud patients in some of the areas. Uh, Multi-flush pine refinement, you guys got it. You got it. Uh, and we'll look forward to seeing your multi-flush pine, your Japanese black pines continue to improve. Thank you guys very much. We appreciate everything that you do to help us make this happen. 
Have a great week. Happy fall slash early winter, depending on where you're at. And uh, we'll see anybody for Q&As tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Otherwise, next Tuesday, rock out, guys.